Welcome to Lecture Online. Now let's take a look at this equation. Here we have z equals x to the 4 plus y to the 4 minus 4xy plus 1. Again, z is a function of x and y. How do we find the max and min of this particular function when we're not even sure what it looks like? And of course, we would need a graphing calculator to graph this and see what it looks like. So let's try that without graphing this function and see how we can find the max and min points on this function. First of all, we're going to take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. The partial of z with respect to x is equal to, that would be 4x cubed, that would be 0. And here, with respect to x, we get minus 4y. The partial derivative of the function z with respect to y is equal to 4y cubed times a minus 4x. Now we're going to set both of these equal to 0, and let's see what we get. So we're going to set the parcel of z with respect to x equal to 0, which means that this will become 0 equals 4x cubed minus 4y. First of all, we can divide both sides by 4. We get 0 equals x cubed minus y, or we can write that y equals x cubed. So we have a condition here where the function is a maximum or a minimum when y equals x cubed. Now over here, we're going to set the partial of z with respect to y equal to 0, which means that 0 equals 4y cubed minus 4x. Again, we divide both sides by 4. We get 0 equals y cubed minus x, or we can say that x is equal to y cubed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to let y equals x cubed and plug that into the equation over there, which means that x is equal to y cubed. Since y is equal to x cubed, we can say x cubed cubed like this, which means that x is equal to x to the ninth or 0 is equal to x to the ninth minus x. What we're going to do now is solve this for x. What we can do is come over here and again write the equation 0 is equal to x to the 9th minus x. So first of all, we can factor out an x. 0 is equal to x times x to the 8th minus 1. And here this can then be written as 0 is equal to x times, because this can be factored. This is x to the 4th minus 1 times x to the 4th plus 1. Next we can factor this. 0 is equal to x times x squared minus 1 times x squared plus 1 times x to the fourth plus 1. And finally, we can factor this. We can write 0 is equal to x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 times x to the fourth plus 1. Now you can see here that there's no values we can plug in for x in these two last binomials here to make this equal 0. But these three can be equal to 0, which means that either x is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Oop, this should be minus 1 equals 0. Or we can write that x plus 1 equals 0, which means there are three conditions where we can have a maximum or a minimum. We, the first condition is that, yes, indeed, x equals 0. The second condition, or x equals 1 and the third condition, or x equals negative 1. So for th these three conditions, x equals 0, x equals 1, or x equals negative 1, we're going to find a max or minimum point. Now, of course, to find out whether or not it is a max or minimum point, we would have to find the slope on either side of those three points right there, but we're not going to do that. I've shown you some examples previously how to do that. Here we simply wanted to show you that you can find the max or min point again by taking a function where you have one variable as a function of two other variables and by using the partial derivative we can find the critical points and the max and min values of a function like that. And that's how it's done.